Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. In this video, what I want to talk about is Emgality. And this will be part of the 101 series where I cover more of the basic overview of the medication. So Emgality is, there's a new class of drugs, new as in been out a few years, called CGRP inhibitors. And there's three of them that are monthly injectable medications, sub-Q injections. Emgality is one of those three. I've covered some of the other two. Um, no, I've covered Amavig. Ajovi will be coming up soon. But in this video, I want to touch on some of the basics. At the end, I'm also going to give you what I consider the pros and cons as a pharmacist uh, that I think will be helpful for you. So first of all, Emgality is a little bit unique in that what it treats it's the only injectable CGRP that's approved to treat uh, preventing cluster headaches. And essentially what you have with cluster headaches is a group of headaches that can last weeks to months. Uh, and as the name implies, they're kind of grouped together. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a diagnostician, so um, I'll just kind of give you an overview of what cluster headaches are for or what they are, but, but Emgality is one of them that can actually treat cluster headaches. But I'm also gonna talk about one of the disadvantages of using for Emgality for cluster headaches here in a second. The other thing that we can use Emgality for, and this is also the case with the Jovi or Amavig, is we can use it to prevent migraines. And that can be episodic migraines, it can also be chronic migraines. So there's no limitations on uh, you know, if you're getting 14 migraine days a month, that means you have episodic migraines. Some meds you can't use that for. Emgality, you can. Now, as far as the dosing goes, um, it can get a little confusing. So for cluster headaches, you can dose three 100 milligram injections um, in one day. So the 300 milligram every month at the onset of a cluster headache and then you do that same dosing again once a month until the headaches go away. Now, here's one of the problems with Emgality is getting somebody approved on their insurance for cluster headaches using Emgality can be tough and then getting it continued to be paid for can be tough because in most cases, cluster headaches do eventually go away. So insurances don't like to pay for this cluster dosing long term. So something to keep in mind as far as our regular migraine dosing, the first month you'll do a loading dose of 240 milligrams. That's two of the 120 milligram shots the same day. That's the disadvantage of Emgality is its first month dosing. You have to give two injections same day for the loading dose. Once that loading dose is done, then we can move into just 120 milligrams, one shot a month. Um, Pretty much, you know, the, it's it's one shot a month from that point forward. We don't have to worry about if there's any sort of liver or kidney problems. We don't have to adjust the dose. So how about warnings? What are we concerned about? It's pretty much the same thing we'd be concerned about with any of the drugs in this class. So first of all, do you have any allergies? If somebody has tried one of the CGRPs before, even it's one of the oral CGRPs like Ubrelvi or Nurtec, if they've tried those and had hypersensitivity, probably not a good idea to go this route because it's most likely going to have an allergic reaction here. The other thing we're concerned about is cardiovascular risk. So if you've had stroke, MI, uh, heart attack, angina, deep vein thrombosis, we it's not that you can't have it, it's that your doctor's probably gonna pump the brakes a little bit with, with using it. And the reason for that is it really wasn't studied in these groups of people in the clinical trials. So not that you can't, it's just we don't have a lot of data for it. So it's something to keep, keep an eye out on. Now, one of the great questions is how long is it gonna take for this to work? Well, again, we have two indications. So let's talk about cluster headache. How long will that take? Usually, you're gonna start seeing results in a week. And then to reach its full effect, probably looking at around a month of use. With migraines, it's a little different because our dosing is a little lower. So migraine, 
usually I tell people maybe 30 to 40 percent of people will notice a significant difference in that first month and then at month two and month three we we notice more and more improvement but it can take some people up to four or five even six months at the high end before they're really going to see an effect so if you're three months into Imgality and you've seen some improvement um, should you stop no I would still keep going with it because um, you may be part of that group it's going to take you a little longer to see those full effects so again with migraines maybe at a month most likely three four month period okay all right so let's go ahead and talk about side effects um, it's actually uh, this whole class of drugs is really well tolerated for the most part the biggest thing we worry about is these are monoclonal antibodies so when you give them your body can actually produce antibodies to the actual injection and this occurs in 5 to 13 percent of folks the biggest problem is in 50 percent of these people they will develop neutralizing antibodies and when you develop neutralizing antibodies that essentially blocks in it won't work and that's true for all the CGRPs not just in Gality. so that's our major concern the most the biggest side effect that I see with Imgality is this 18% injection site reaction. So somebody will give their Imgality injection, which usually means around the belly button, the thigh or the shoulder area, and 18% of those folks are going to develop an injection site reaction, which means redness, swelling, sometimes a bit of a rash in that area. Usually it will go away um, some people will say, oh, it hangs around for a day or two, then it goes away. Um, some people, it becomes problematic. Most of them, it doesn't. Most of them, it's just annoying. So something to keep in mind. And then finally is constipation. Imgality is not known for causing constipation. Actually, out of this group of medications, Amovig is the one that you're going to see cause constipation more. But it can happen. I've seen it happen in folks. So it's something to keep an eye on. So with that being said, what's our big takeaways? If um, I were, if you were a family member, what, what would be my big takeaway for Imgality? Well, a couple of things. A couple of good things is I find it to be pretty effective. Most people get good results with it. It's also well tolerated, not a lot of side effects with it. People seem to do well with it. One of the problems, one of the things I don't like it for is that first month is that loading dose we talked about the two injections on the same day it's not that you can't do it it's just kind of a pain so something to keep in mind there also insurance can be problematic and when i say insurance i'm more referring to um, the cluster headache option so we want to just know that if you get on it that's a hurdle and to be able to stay on it is another hurdle so something to keep in mind there so that's some Gality in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I try to keep an eye out on those. As I do more and more videos, it's hard for me to keep up answering them, but I promise that I read all of them. The other thing, um, a lot of folks, when they have migraines, these sorts of things, they're, they're frustrated with their only two options being medications and surgeries. So I show you some other things and it's in my free 30 days to better health report just go to curtis-alexander.com i'll put a link down here go there and i'll share some of those things that i do that i've seen other people do that have been helpful when you're looking for options um, just outside of the prescription drug realm so again uh, like subscribe give me your feedback in the comments let me know of other videos you might like to see as well that would be helpful for you so until the next video, this is Curtis Alexander, pharmacist. Thank you.